Welcome back to another episode of my Schalke career mode today, guys. And today is the episode you've probably been waiting for for quite a while. It's the January transfer window. Take a look at my budget. It's not massive. I'm not going to lie. It would be better to have just that bit more money. But we are going to bring in some backups. I'm not going to say first team players because I'm not sure. Well, bar La Soga, I don't think we're going to bring in anyone massive. But in terms of, um, you know, backup and squad depth, we're definitely looking to improve it. And we've got 17 million to do so. So it's not too bad at all. Let's take a look at the shortlist. I looked through you, um, your comments, guys, in the last few episodes. And actually, Mancien was quite a popular choice. So I think I'm actually just going to go ahead and make a signing of him. So he's currently injured, but obviously it doesn't matter because he won't be joining the squad until next season. So I'm going to approach to sign on contract. Um, what was it? What do they say? Contract expiry. That's what you need to be doing, guys. 15,000 is absolutely nothing. He will be an import, uh, a squad rotation player, I think. Where would he? Well, he'd probably be on the subs, on the, or maybe the reserves. I'm not sure. We'll we'll find out. But I'm going to give him squad rotation player. He'll probably say he'd want an improved role, but we're going to go ahead and make an offer for him because it's just another defender. Santana's lost a lot of stats there, and uh, we definitely need some backup. So now we're left with Lasoga. What do we do? That's the question. Well, I have decided, guys. I'm going to be swapping him with Ibarbo. That is what we're going to be doing. It's what everyone else has seemed um, to want me to do for a while now. So that is exactly what we're going to try and do. So he's worth 7.5 million. They think I should offer between 16 and 20. So basically, I'm going to have to offer probably about, I reckon, 8 million or so to get La Soga to join. So we'll see how this offer goes. Ibarbo plus 8 million. To get La Soga would be a great acquisition because he will score goals. There's no doubt about it. And what do we need? We need goals. Now, the other thing I want to do, guys, is take a look at the squad report, especially up at Farfan, because obviously he has been decreasing this uh, this season. Fairman doing quite well there. Uchida's gone up by one. Of course, we'll be leaving at the end of the season, unfortunately. Howardes is 85. Jesus doing well there. Ayogo's gone up by one. One of the best players of the season so far, though. He's been fantastic. Kovacic there, we've got Neudstader, Farfan. He hasn't, he hasn't actually gone down too much, so I'm not too worried about getting rid of him. But I do want to try and sign maybe Volland. So I don't know if I want to swap him for Volland. Maybe that's what I should do. Hmm, I wish I could get instant feedback from you guys. If I was streaming right now, that'd be quite handy. Draxler doing well there. Boateng's absolutely fine. Batshuayi's wai has gone up by three. Maya has gone up a little bit there. Ibarbo's only gone up by one. So you can see that... Batshuayi has had the better performances so far, and I, I prefer him personally, so that's why I've gone with um, the Ibarbo swap. Hazard hasn't gone up, Delefeo doing well there, Hoga, Papadopoulos. Actually, everyone is doing really well this season, which is good to see. Look at Ihan, still gone up by three there, and we're only halfway through the season. So um, what we're going to do is I'm going to do something a bit bold, and I'm just going to make a decision now. I, I just fancy something new. I'm going to do a swap, Voland, and I want to get rid of Farfan. I just want to do it. I fancy having someone else. Why not just go for it? So Farfan, he's worth 9 million. I think a straight swap will be absolutely fair enough. So let's see what happens with that. A lot of people won't be sure why I'm doing that, but Farfan is 30 years old. And unfortunately, in career mode, you know, that is old. It sucks because he's not old at all, really. He's, he's still very, very high rated, but... I'm thinking of my future investment into this team. I want to do a second season. I need someone who's younger and can play more matches. So I think going for Voland would be pretty much a great swap. We've got a transfer offer here for Sane out on loan. I think that's fair enough. We're not using him and he could do with some game time. So let's allow that. We've got a player conversation here. Boatang wants more monies. I'm sure he does. He's from Ghana. We saw what happened at the World Cup. Let's go ahead and offer him just that little bit more money then. Um, 70,000 per week for him is actually quite good. So I'm happy to give him a bit more. Offer him the one-year extension and crucial first-team player. I mean, I play him in pretty much every match if I can. So I'm happy with that. Let's continue the simulation here. Wales want me to manage them. Absolutely no way. Sorry about that. Here we go. Oh, look at that. Mancien has accepted. Brilliant. New defender coming at the end of the season. He will definitely do well in the team. Um, oh, look at that. Ibarbo has been accepted, plus 8 million. Let's see if we can get him straight into the squad here. Come on, Lasoga. You know you want to join. And uh, unacceptable. Right, we do not believe that the cash sum is enough. Damn. He's an expensive bastard, isn't he? Um, 
Damn it. Oh, that's three million. I think that's fair enough. I think the reason he's, you know, inflated so much is because he's young and he's got so many good stats. He could be incredibly good. But there's Boatang accepted his contract. That's good. We've got the Saga, though. So that is good news, guys. It's our first signing. Um, obviously, Mancien doesn't count just yet because he's not in the team. But we do have La Soga. Fantastic news. I just realised we've got La Soga. Yes. I've wanted him for so long. But they want 7.5. So that was never going to happen. So I'm going to offer 6. I think that's fair enough. They should accept that. And we'll get Voland straight into that team. Linking up with La Soga will be uh, pretty deadly if you ask me. But if this doesn't work, you know what? Farfan would be absolutely fine to keep. But there you go. They have accepted Let's offer him exactly what he wants, except from the money, of course. No one needs to bump it up. It never it never needs to be done. But anyway, boss, don't feel you can't select me for the team. Ochida does want to go, guys. It's such a shame, but I'm already eyeing up my replacement. And let's go ahead and find him now. So he plays as right back, of course. And it's the Bundesliga. I've forgotten his name, so that's why I'm doing this. Bundesliga. And he plays for, I think it's Hamburg. I think it's Hamburg. I need to double check. He's got some insane... Yep, there he is. He's got insane pace, this guy. And he's the guy who I'd want to bring in. So we're going to go ahead and add to shortlist. I'm not going to sign him now. I'll sign him at the end of the season. But let me just say now, like this guy, I'm not sure if many people know about him. He's incredibly good on this game. Look at those strengths. Acceleration, sprint speed, crossing, stamina, and both tackling. So I'm going to ask my scout to scout him, and you'll see more of his stats at the end of this January transfer window. But anyway, can we get Voland to join? Come on. Come on, Voland. Oh, hang on. We've got a transfer offer for Anan here. Yep, yeah, let's let him go. I don't use him very often. And I could do with his wages being freed up. Press conference doesn't bother me. God, who does press conferences? God. And there we go. Boom. We've done it. We've saved so much money in terms of wages as well. Farfan was on very high wages. And it does mean we have a new right midfielder in Voland. This is going to be an interesting second half of the season because the team has already got much stronger. Look at those stats. Damn, son. The only downside to him is obviously his skill moves aren't the best. But I think he's a great addition to the squad. And he's only 22. And um, he's going to strengthen the squad. It's as simple as that. And obviously up front we have La Soga now, who is 80 overall. That will get better. Unfortunately, he's not as high as I wanted him to be. I was hoping he'd be at least 83, maybe 84. I think that's all we need to do this window. Is there anything else I should be doing, guys? Just let me know in the comments. We've still got some money that I could use, I guess, maybe to sign some players that are um, ending their contract. So why don't we go ahead and do this on, on the budget? So we have a game against Nuremberg here. They are literally bottom five. I'm not worried about losing this game. It's a home game. Come on, lads. There we go. Jesus. 1-0, 2-0, Boatang on 29 minutes. It's a home game. What do you expect, guys? It could be 3 or 4-0 this. Come on. Bachiwai's come on. And there he goes. He comes on and scores. 3-0 there. Oh, no. Boatang's got a red card, but Bachiwai makes it 4. I think that's it. Oh, man. They had to score, didn't they? Four goals. I told you I need to score more. But as soon as I don't play, we do. <laughs> what does that say? Transfer offer here. Sabotka. Let's go ahead and accept the loan offer. I'm not using him. Transfer for low parts. Season loan. Yep, that's fine. Looks like we're playing Wolfsburg here. They are sitting in fifth. We are still in third. So again, it's another one of those games where pretty much I need to win. So everyone's fully fit. I'm happy with that. Although I'm going to give Neudstander a rest and play Hoger. Just fancy giving someone else a go. Uh, Delafeu at Cam. Or should I go with... I'm going to go with Mayer. Yeah, why not? Let's go with Mayer. La Soga up front. Let's do this. Oh, La Soga. He's getting pulled back, man. We've got an injury. Get the ambulance on the field. Oh, my God. He's broken a toenail. Fuck. Why did I do that? For fuck's sake. I was just taking the piss. I lose a bit of concentration and I just pass it. Like a freaking idiot. Oh, for God's sake. 1 0 down. Brilliant. Yay. Yes, Draxler. Oh, what a ball. La Soga. That could have been it. Oh, Draxler's through. 
But Solga, get in the box, mate. Come on, first goal for you, mate. Come on. Oh, so close. End of the first half, and once again, I'm finding myself 1-0 down. I've got to get back at them in this second half, but it's proving quite a difficult game, especially their defence. To break down, it seems so tough. No, 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 no. Fuck. What is wrong with me? Bringing on some changes, guys. Mayer has played like absolute shit. I don't know what it is in this Grimo, but he's just not doing well for me at all. I'm going to bring on Delafeo as Cam. And then bring Draxler into the middle to, for a swap there. And then bring on... I think I'm going to bring Batshuayi on as a Cam. Oh, what a cross. Freaking hell. It's not the best result, but it could be worse. I'll just have to take it on the chin, guys. And next time I play... I've just got to bring my A game because something isn't right at the moment. Something isn't quite working in this team. I need to figure out what it is because if I lose many more games, I'm going to drop out of the Champions League bit. And that's exactly what I don't want. I need Champions League football next season. So um, that's what made me lose the game, I think. Just crushed me, that goal. So, so poor from me. Julian Draxler was my best player, rated 6.6. .6. That says a lot. Pass accuracy, 76. Oh, it's just rubbish. Basically, guys, I absolutely suck at the moment. And uh, like I said, I need to find what's wrong. But uh, thank you for watching. If you have enjoyed it, please do leave a like rating. And I will see you in the next episode.